Barbell front squat with a three second pause at the bottom. Hold the bar like any other front squat, so either in the fingertips or across your shoulders. Make sure you're even on the bar. Step out, get your feet situated, keep your elbows up, deep breath in. Tighten your abs, brace hard. Control lower, pause for three seconds. Forcefully stand up, deep breath in. Tight abs, pause. Breathe out on the way up. You can also cross your arms like I was mentioning earlier. So don't round your back. Keep your weight evenly distributed in your feet. Drop your butt down into the hole right behind your heels. And explode out of the bottom. Single leg vertical jump. So balancing on one leg. Opposite leg is going to come back as you descend down and then you're going to forcefully explode out of that bottom leg jump up stabilize that landing reset stabilize try to land in the exact same spot you took off from we don't want our jumps taking us forward or sideways i want to stick my landing in that same spot each time Barbell RDL with a three second pause at bottom. Grab your bar evenly. Feet about hip width apart, shoulders back, draw your abs in. Take that deep breath in. Tight abs, make sure you're bracing on the way down. And at the bottom here, you're gonna pause for that three count and then forcefully come up, squeeze your butt. Tight abs, drive Dero's hips back. Notice there's a little bit of a knee bend my knee's not locked out behind me. Back is flat, shoulders are back. Three second pause. Stand and squeeze your butt. Bench, T-spine mobilization. Grasp the dowel, palms up. Elbows on the bench. Knees under your hips. Sit back, dropping your chest. Keeping your abs tight. Letting your air out. Pull the bar over your head, deep breath in, zip back, feel that stretch in your lats and upper back. Barbell press. Grip the bar in your fist. Hold it right out in front of your chin. Take a nice deep breath in. Tight abs, squeeze your butt. Breathe out on the way up. At the top, make sure your wrists are nice and straight. We're punching the ceiling and reaching at the top. Control on the way back down. Deep breath in again. Tight abs. Breathe out, press. We want our biceps in line with the ears. Okay, we don't want the bar back here or up in front. We want it right over the top of the head. Control lower down. Another key here is not letting that rib cage flare out. Keep the ribs down, hips tucked, butt tight, abs tight. And then again, reach, reach at the top of the breath. Walking lunges. Hold a pair of dumbbells in your hands. You can hold one or one up top. You can wear a weight vest, just weight it. We're stepping forward, controlling the forward momentum and stopping it and dropping straight down. Come up, next step, controlling that forward momentum and stopping it and dropping straight down. So we're wanting to keep that front knee over the ankle, shin vertical. We don't want that knee going past our toe. You're gonna to drive through the front heel, push off the back ball of the foot, stand up through that front leg. Low back extension. I know not everybody has a 45 degree angle bench like this. 
So I'll use a stability ball instead. But for today, I'm just gonna show you this one. So I want you to add weight if you can this time. So hug a ball or a dumbbell, wrap yourself around, drop down. Okay, keep your chin kind of tucked and pull yourself into a nice straight line. Think about using your low back, your glutes and hamstrings to keep your abs tight. This is the dead bug. So laying on your back. Okay, bring your feet up, knees at 90, reach to the ceiling. Engage your abs by bracing, pulling your rib cage towards your hips. Keep your low back flat. This is an exercise for anti-extension. So what we don't wanna see is that low back arching off the ground here. So keep your abs engaged. You're gonna reach with your opposite arm, opposite leg out. Don't touch the ground, come back up and switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg reach. Good ab engagement. Keep your back flat. Do even amount of reps each side. Don't let your foot rest on the floor. Keep it up and get that arm reaching as far up and out as you can. Right, dead bug variations. Let me show you a bunch of options here. So holding a weight plate above your chest, you can do the dead bug motion with just your legs. So like in any other dead bug, you want our abs drawn in, back flat. I can smash a stability ball between that opposite hand, opposite knee. You can attach a band to something stable pull over and do the dead bug motion. I can also take bands if you have any mini bands. They're actually really cheap on Amazon. And you can get a long band before your hand and we can add resistance between our extremities. As you push away, squeeze your butt you'll feel your hip flexor engage and driving that arm to the floor to get that shoulder blade engaged. All the while, keeping her abs tight, back flat. 